Hello and welcome to another one in this series of tips and tricks on how to use Alibri. Now, today's tip is about assembly. And it's something that has come to my attention that many people uh, are not aware that it is even uh, possible in Alibri. And uh, it is possible and it is uh, very helpful to know how to do. Um, okay, so first of all, let's change the color for this thing so we can look at it a bit better. Now, let's say we want to assemble this in a way that makes it move like it would move in the kinematic assembly, right? So what we wanted to do is we wanted to go to move, to move straight up and down, do not rotate, and uh, move for a specific range, right? But we don't have any references, or do we? Um, so if you click on a part, whatever you want, uh, edge, face, whatever, and then right click, you can uh, uh, click on this option, right, show reference geometry, or or you can also do it by clicking somewhere and hitting Alt-0. Now it seems like nothing happened, but it did, and what happened is, now every time you open one of the references, right, for the assembly, uh, the corresponding references for the fr from the part file will also show. So with this, uh, we can uh, assemble this by doing the following, right? We want these axes to be coaxial, right? And uh, then we want, uh, well, let's see, what we want is this plane to coincide this one, and then we want this plane and this to be offset within uh, these limits. Okay, so going upwards is negative. So, and this is actual. This is the actual um, stroke for this engine. It's eighty-two point eight millimeters, and it's a seventy-two millimeter piston to four uh, cylinder engine. Props if you know what engine this is from. Um, and we're done, right? You you hide the reference geometry, you hide this, and look at this, right? It moves the way it should move in the kinematic assembly, in the, in the actual real life kinematic assembly. Uh, now, that's it for today. Uh, Show reference geometry, really, really uh, useful, right? You can find it from here, head out zero. Extremely useful uh, for assemblies. I hope you liked today's tip, and uh, I hope I see you in the next one. And if you want an extended video on how to assemble the entire engine uh, with correct kinematics and parametric bore and stroke, uh, leave a comment. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.